Hello everyone, I am Robert Pete, Assistant Professor in First Year Department, CPKBIT, Bangalore. I welcome you all my video lecture of subject Engineering Mathematics. This is a video of topic Solid Geometry, and in this video I discuss some preliminaries required for solid geometry. So here in this video I discuss about some basic formulas about line. Plane, how to find out the plane between two points, then equation of plane, perpendicular distance from any point to plane, and direction ratio and direction cosine. So, first we see basic formula for this basic distance formula. So, consider if P of x1, y1, z1, and Q of x2, y2, z2 are two points in a space, and distance PQ is given by Distance PQ is square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square. Then, we see midpoint formula. So, consider the point P of x1 y1 z1 and Q of x2 y2 z2 are two points in space and R of x1 z is midpoint of line PQ. Then, R is given by R of x1 z is equal to the first x coordinate is x1 plus x2 by 2, y coordinate is y1 plus y2 by 2, z coordinate is z1 plus z2 by 2. Now, intersection formula. So, consider p of x1 y1 z1 and q of x2 y2 z2 are two points in a space and r is intersect the line segment p2 in ratio m minus n and the coordinate for point r is given by m times x2 plus m times x1 then for y upon m plus n y coordinate m y2 plus n y1 upon m plus n then m z2 plus m z1 upon m plus n so see the intersection formula coordinates of any points are x1 y1 z1 coordinates of second point q is x2 y2 z2 and this R intersect line PQ in ratio M minus N, then the coordinates of R is Nx2 plus Nx1 upon N plus N, Ny2 plus Ny1 upon N plus N, Nz2 plus Nz1 upon N plus N. Now we see direction cosines of a line. So direction cosines means if the line PQ makes angle alpha, beta, and gamma with the coordinate axis x, y, z, positive axis x, y, z, respectively, then the number, triplet number, cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma, gives direction cosines of line pq, and it is denoted as dCA. What is direction cosines? If line pq makes angle alpha, beta, gamma with positive x, y, z axis, respectively, then the number Cos alpha, cos beta, and cos gamma gives direction cosines of the line. Now we see the property. If L, M, N are the direction cosines of the line, then L square plus M square plus N square is always 1. Now, for example, we are finding direction cosines of x axis. So x axis makes angle 0 with x axis. R by 2 or 90 with y axis, R by 2 with z axis respectively. Then direction cosines of the line x axis are 1, 0, 0. Now angle between two lines we are finding. If L1, M1, N1, and L2, M2 are two direction cosines of the line, and then we are finding angle between them is cos theta is L1, M2 plus L1, M2 plus L1, M2. You see, if direction cosines of two lines are L1, M1, N1, L2, L2, N2, then the angle between two lines are L1, L2 plus M1, M2 plus N1, N2. Direction ratios, if any three numbers A, B, C are proportional to direction cosines of the line, L, M, N are called direction ratios of a line. So, any number multiple of direction cosines. So, first property if ABC 
is also direction ratios of a line then any number multiple of direction ratio is also direction ratios of line so one line has more than one direction ratio but only one direction cosine now if abc are direction ratios of a line then a upon root of a square plus b square plus c square b upon square root of a square plus b square plus c square comma c upon square root of a square plus b square plus c square are direction cosines of a line okay so see the example and if it is direction cosines the value of this term is 1 we get abc itself are dcs now if 1 2 2 are direction ratios of a line then direction cosines means a upon square root of a square plus b square plus c square so we are finding first is root of a square plus b square plus c square root 1 square plus root 2 square plus root 3 square that is root 9 root 9 means 3 so therefore 1 by 3 2 by 3 2 by 3 this is the direction cosines now suppose two lines are parallel then their direction ratios are same two lines are parallel and their direction ratios are equal. Now we continue properties of direction ratio. If P of x1, y1, z1 and Q of x2, y2, z2 are two points on a line, then x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1. Difference between the x, y, z coordinates gives direction ratios of that line. So if we know two, n points or any two points between on the line then difference between their x y z coordinates gives direction ratios of a line so suppose if 1 2 2 and 2 3 6 are two points on line pq then the direction ratios of line pq are 2 minus 1 then 3 minus 2 and 6 minus 2 it is 1 1 4 are the direction ratios of line PQ. Again, by using direction ratios of two lines, we can find out angle between them. If A1, B1, C1 and A2, B2, C2 are direction ratios of two lines, then angle between them is given as cos theta is equal to A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2 upon square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into square root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square and therefore if 0 3 2 and 0 0 1 are direction ratios of a line then angle between them is a1 a2 0 into 0 plus b1 b2 3 into 0 0 plus 2 into 1 c1 c2 is 2 upon root of 0 square plus 3 square plus 2 square so it is 9 plus 4 13 so make here correction and here it is 1 so angle is 2 upon root of 13 now we see different equations of the line so first is symmetric form so line passing through the one point P of x1, y1, z1 and if we know the direction ratios of line alpha, beta and gamma then equation of line is x minus x1 upon alpha is equal to y minus y1 upon beta is equal to z minus z1 upon gamma is equal to k and hence we can find out coordinates in general coordinate x, y, z on this line is x is alpha k plus x1, y is beta k plus y1, z is gamma k plus z1. Equation of line passing through the point 1, 2, 1 having direction ratios of 3, 1, 2 is x minus 1 upon 3 here. x1, y1, z1 is 1, 2, 3 and direction ratios 3, 1, 2 are here. Now, Line passing through two points, it is common formula. 
P of x1 y1 z1 and Q of x2 y2 z2 are two points on the line. Then the equation of line is x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 is equal to z minus z1 upon z2 minus z1. We equate it to some constant k. We will get equation of line in parametric form or if we equate it to p we get parametric form of the equation of line. Now we see equation of plane. So general form of the line of the plane is given by x plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 where a, b, c are direction cosines of the line normal to the plane. Okay. So then the equation represents ax plus by plus cz plus d is 0. First order in x, y, z. Then the coefficient of x, y and z are a, b, c. This number represent the direction ratios of the line normal to the plane or perpendicular to the plane. Now suppose general equation of plane passing through origin is if equation passing through origin, x, y, z satisfy equation, d becomes 0. So, x plus b, y plus c, z is 0. Now, if we equation of plane passing through particular point, p of x1, y1, z1. So, a times x minus x1 plus b times y minus y1 plus c times z minus z1 is 0. This is the equation of plane passing through the point. Again this ABC gives direction ratios normal to the line. Only we don't know this D. Now normal form when LX plus MY plus NZ is equal to P where this L, M, N are direction cosines of a line perpendicular to the plane and P is the perpendicular distance of plane from origin. This is the normal form of the Equation. Now, this is intercept form. If the line makes angle, uh, sorry, line intercept x, y, z axis at point A, B, and C with coordinate axis x, y, z, then the equation of line is x by A plus y by B plus z by C is equal to 1. If I find out x intercept, I put y, z 0, so x becomes 0. And I find out intercept with z axis, I put x, z, x, y, 0, z becomes 6. So in this way we get intercept. Now length perpendicular from length of perpendicular from point to plane. So if point A of x1, y1, z1 with a point and we are finding perpendicular distance from this point A to this plane. So, where equation of plane is x plus by plus cz plus d is 0. Then this perpendicular distance is given by p and the formula is a times x1 plus b times y1 plus c times z1 plus d divided by square root of s square plus b square plus c square. So, I replace in the equation of plane x, y, z1 coordinates of point x1, y1, z1. And I divide it by magnitude of a square plus b square plus c square. Now suppose the point lies on a plane, then I get this value is 0, point satisfy this equation, so we get perpendicular distance from point to plane is 0. And if this perpendicular distance is positive, it means it is away from the plane. Now for example, find the distance from a point 0, 1, 2 to the plane x plus 2y plus 2z is equal to 15. So p is 1 into 0 plus 2 into 1 plus here I replace x by x coordinate. So coefficient is 1, here it is 0 plus 2 into y coordinate is 1 plus 2 into z coordinate is 2 minus 15 divided by square root of magnitude of abc. A is 1. 2 square 1, here it is 2 square plus 2 square, you make the correction. So it was the 1 plus 4 plus 1, 9. So here it is root of 9 by minus 9 by 3, that is 
plus 3 mod u will take mod so plus 3 so make here correction it is root of 9 and here it is 1 2 2 square now we see projection of a line if pq is line segment and we are finding its projection of line pq on the line segment ab so we take perpendicular from point p it p dash perpendicular from point q it is q dash so this p dash q dash is projection of this line pq on the line ab now we are finding this distance p dash q dash if we know the coordinates of p and q and direction ratios of line ab so coordinates of point pq are x1 y1 0 1 and coordinates of point q are x2 y2 0 2 with the two points and ab are the line whose direction cosines here we require direction cosines of the line ab are l m n then the projection of line PQ on AB is P dash Q dash is given as L times X2 minus X1 plus M times Y2 minus Y1 plus N times Z2 minus Z. Okay. So see example. Here P point is 1, 2, 3. Q point is 2, 3, 3. And the direction cosines of lines are 0, 1, 0. Then the projection of line PQ on the line ABR, P dash Q dash is L times X2 minus X1 plus M times Y2 minus Y1 plus N times Z2 minus Z. So here it is, P dash Q dash is 0 into 2 minus 1 plus 1 into 3 minus 2 plus 0 into 3 minus 2. So it is 0, this is 0, here it is 3 minus 2, it is 1. So thank you. Happy day.